Hello, a very good afternoon to you today. My name is Sister Tayo, and I'm here to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Now, the devotional I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Vassia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboy. And I'm sure you'll be wondering, Sister Tayo, why are you sharing this particular daily devotional? Because there's so many daily devotionals out there. Why this particular one? Why not another one? It's because... Um, God gave me the instruction specifically to share this particular daily devotional. As I prepared to enter into the year 2020, God instructed me to share this particular daily devotional on YouTube to be very specific. And that was last year. And I was able to start that assignment from God in the month of June 2020. I shared the devotional also in the months of August, October, December 2020. And in the year 2021, I resumed sharing in the months of march and now may and by the grace of god i also share in the subsequent months now pastor adebo he led me to christ in october 1997 many many years ago when i was in the university of lagos in nigeria in west africa as an undergraduate and pastor adebo's style of teaching is that he'll give you a few scriptures to read he'll give you a memory verse and when you combine those two pieces of scripture it helps you to understand the body of the text and what God is saying through Pastor Debo to the body of Christ and to the world in general at this particular point in time. Now, today is Friday, May the 14th, and we all love Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And the title of today's daily devotional is The Power of Prayer. The Power of Prayer. Um, you know, the Bible says, in as I was reading this, I remember two scriptures in, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 115 and Psalm 135. It says that, um, you know, the idols are work, the works of men's hands. They are made of gold. They are made of silver. They have eyes they cannot see. They have ears they cannot hear. They have mouth, but they cannot speak. You know, they have nose they cannot smell. They have feet, but they cannot walk. But And so are those who make them, who worship them, you know. But our own God, our God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he made the heavens and the earth. Now, when God says we should pray, it's because he has intention of answering. And that's the good thing about prayer. Prayer you pray to God is that when you pray, he asks you to pray because he wants to answer. Amen. So the power of prayer. And our scripture reading is taken from the book of 1 John 5, 14, verses 14 to 15. And 1 John 5, 1 John, the book of 1 John is in the, in the New Testament. And it's so good to know that the God I pray to hears. And before I call, he has answered. Amen. And that's a miracle. Prayer brings miracles. Now, 1 John 5, verses 14 to 15. I'm going to read, be reading from the traditional King James Version. Uh, it's just two verses and it's fairly easy to understand. It says, 1 John 5, verses 14 and 15. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him so if you are looking for a miracle you already have the answer in your hand all you need to do is talk to god and because he that created the ears he will hear he that created the mouth he will surely speak then you know that you have your petitions you ask no matter what it is whether you're praying concerning your health concerning your children concerning your future concerning anything when you pray in the name of jesus christ god answers and miracles happen amen May God bless the reading of his word. So let me go straight into the daily devotional. Our scripture, our memory verse is also taken from the same verses that we read. It says in 1 John 5, 14, that, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So it, it's, it, that's why the Bible says, say you unto the righteous, it is well. Because you know that when you pray to God, God will answer you. Amen. He will answer you and do exceedingly abundantly above that which you are able to ask or think. So even the, before we begin to pray, just thank God and say, Father, I thank you because I know you've heard me. I thank you because I know that you will do, you will perform even more than I've asked you for. Amen. The power of prayer. <clears throat> Pastor says there's power behind asking and receiving. If you don't believe this, Pastor says, read the story of Jesus and the boy who was possessed by a demon in Matthew 17, verses 14 to 21. Pastor says, only a child of God can decree a thing and it is established as promised in Job 22, verse 28. This is why it is important to be born again. 
The boldness to ask in faith and the power to receive belong to God. And he freely gives them to his children. You know, pastor is saying here that uh, it takes power to ask and to receive. And that the power to ask and receive, the power to decree a thing and that thing be established, that power comes from God. Remember the Bible says in the book of Psalms that all power belongs to God. Amen. So, and the only way you can decree a thing and it is established is if you are a christian if you are not a christian if you do not have the holy ghost if you're not born again you cannot decree a thing and it be established oh no you know in um in this scripture that pastor was talking about matthew 17 verses 14 to 21 a man brought his demon possessed children child to the disciples to cast out and they could not cast the devil out they tried, they shouted, they screamed, they shouted, come out, come out. They could not because they were not yet born again. They had not yet received the power of God. So they did not have the right and the authority to cast out every devil. They could not decree a thing and have it established because they had not accepted God, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and Savior. You know, Romans 8.26 says, Pastor is quoting, he says, Romans 8.26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with runnings which cannot be uttered now that's romans 8 26 can i just um clarify that when it says likewise the spirit is talking about the holy spirit and it says but the spirit itself that's not correct it says the spirit it should be the spirit himself because the spirit of god is a person Amen. This, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. He says that we ourselves we don't know what we should pray for. It is the Holy Spirit that the Spirit of God in us that we are given that was given to us that in, that helps us to pray. We don't know how to pray as we utter, and that's why we pray in the Holy Spirit. Pastor says, going by the Scripture above, there is need to be filled with the Holy Spirit if we will get this divine power, the power to pray. You will need the Holy Spirit. Pastor is saying. In other words, the power of prayer is given by the Holy Spirit, okay? Jesus' disciples found it difficult to pray effectively when the Holy Spirit had not come upon them as in, as in Matthew 17 verses 14 to 20, which was the one, the scripture I quoted about the man and his demon-possessed son. However, when the Spirit came upon them, not only were they able to pray effectively, they also started decreeing mighty things in Acts 4.31. Pastor says you can also get this power to ask and to receive by resting on God's promises contained in his word. For example, in John 16.23, Jesus said, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. So, Pastor is saying here that you you it's difficult to pray. You can't pray effectively without the enablement of God's spirit. Okay, so that's why you must be born again, because except you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, except you are born of the water, which is God's word, and the Holy Spirit, you cannot enter. So if you want to be able to pray effectively, if you want to be able to pray the heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man that makes tremendous power available, you need the Holy Spirit, for we know not how to pray as we ought. It is the Spirit who helps our weaknesses. Okay, and that's why Jesus Christ said in John 16, 23, Jesus said, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it unto you. It is one thing to have power to ask. Pastor says it's another to have the power to receive. Sometimes when God gives out his blessings to people, they may not have the power of sonship to receive them. Peter almost missed his blessings, but for the mercy of God, when he encountered Jesus at the lake of Genesaret, he pleaded with Jesus to get away from him because he was guilt ridden in Luke 5 8. Whereas Jesus was actually trying to give him an apostolic offering, uh, office. Whereas Jesus was actually offering him an apostolic office. So, Pastor is saying it's one thing to ask, it's good to be able to ask, so you've received power to ask, but it's also it takes um, maturity in Christ to be able to lambano is the Greek word, the ability to receive. You know, you can be giving somebody something and say, Take take and the person's hands are like this but you see he has to be wise enough to take to to take and lay hold of that which you have given him so pastor is saying it takes maturity also to receive okay so and that was his peter as an example how uh 
uh, um, you know, Jesus was saying, follow me and I'll make you fish as a man. And he was, he was saying, depart from me, for I'm a sinful man. He didn't know that Jesus Christ was offering him an apostolic office, which Jesus still gave him out of mercy. Because, you know, he, he didn't know. Pastor says, to get power to receive God's benevolence, therefore you must have faith in Jesus. You must also live a life free of sin, according to Psalm 66, verse 18. In addition to that, your prayer must not be mad with lust or ulterior motives, like Simon the sorcerer, who was saying that when he saw Peter and James, you know, they laid their hands on the people and the Holy Spirit came upon them. He said, oh, please give me this power so that I too, when I lay hands, I will give you money if you, if you give me this power. So when I lay hands on people, they will also be working miracles, you know. So, pastor says that in addition to that, your prayer must not be mad with lust or ulterior motives, as in James 4, 3. Pastor says, beginning from now, you will be empowered to ask and to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Beginning from now, you are empowered to ask and to receive in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I say amen to that for you and myself too. Amen. Now, the prayer point is, Father Please give me the power to pray effectively so that whatever I decree here on earth shall be established in heaven. So I'm going to pray on our behalf. Father, please give us the power to pray effectively so that whatever we decree here on earth shall be established in heaven. Father, I pray for myself and my hearers that you give us the power to pray effectively. The heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man that make a tremendous power to be available. Give us that power so that whatever we decree here on earth shall be established in heaven according to your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and for taking time to listen to me today. I hope the um, sharing of the devotional was not too long and I thank God that we have received power to pray. The Bible says we must give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of God's word and I pray that that power to pray will rest upon you that god will pour out upon you and i the spirit of grace and supplication in jesus name amen thank you and god bless you uh if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel please tap the note you know subscribe and please tap the notification bell bell and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow please share this this um this video with all your friends and um thank you very much and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow god bless you exceedingly have a nice evening